Okay, I'm still working with this um, semi-levitation uh, idea where you have a, a magnet with a pole facing up against a magnet with a pole facing down, and that's they're all um, north, north, or south, south, and it, it levitates the rotor on a fixed uh, axis, and this, they, it's a needle, but uh, it makes a fairly good uh, low resistance bearing. And I just put a reed switch driver on this little uh, plastic dome, put some juice in it, and uh, it'll drive through the plastic dome. I don't know, this is uh, an interesting concept of putting the driver on the outside and then driving through the plastic to the rotor, keeping the rotor uh, away from the driver unit. And it's just something I've been playing around with for a few days now, looking at the idea of uh, having the driver outside of a contained rotor. And um, it gives a real interesting effect. I don't know. Uh, I suppose you could put the, the uh, coils all the way around the plastic uh, part and you'd make like an easy spin type of motor out of it and then um, um, use whatever kind of circuit or reed switch driver you'd want to put on the thing and, and drive the thing that way but um, like I say this is just a reed switch driver with a little um, 2.7 volt super cap and I filled up with 3 volts but this um, idea of um, Levitating the rotor on a needle so that it's it's supported uh, with the magnetism and then it runs free on the needle um, seems to work pretty good. Just something I had not tried before. Anyway, just something I've been fiddling around with. Thanks for watching.